Comics Plus, what is going on? Akasan here. It's time for a little bit of that edgy-ish. Uh, we're going to just try to make this as quick as possible because, as I said, uh, the biggest thing is uh, with the new schedule and every all the good content coming on TV right now, don't really have time to edit so many things. So uh, I just want to kind of speed through this one. Give you guys the exclusive good content, the full reactions on Patreon. And if there's time, if I have time, I'll try to give you guys something on YouTube. Um, and uh, if the views are high enough, I'll, I'll uh, keep uh, keep it going. But last year was not so good. Hopefully this year is a little bit better. I'm watching you, WB. Uh, we're going to continue with the story of uh, why did Jason Todd, why is Jason Todd so angry at the Titans? Why is he taking it all? on them and why did he feel why'd you do it jason why'd you do it why'd you kill hank well i mean technically duff did but you know what i'm saying all right your full reaction and a reaction to the latest episode of titans starts now red hood wants him why why him why Ooh, everybody's favorite uh blue filter Come out and say it. If I wasn't a fucked up half breed, none of this would have happened. Damn. Don't say that word. Damn. I'm talking about the Lex part of me. It's like everyone was waiting for him to take over. Wow. So you can all do. <laughs> Dark dick. Parents. Really? She's just gonna balance like that. Where is Alfred when you need him? Whoa! Gar, what happened? Stay away from me. Gar! What? Check. Ugh. Don't tell me. You were at the airport. You want me to pick you up? He's professional. Fine. Sensory deprivation tank. Okay. Dick said Batman used it for meditation. It's supposed to help you block out the outside world and get super focused. Yeah, but she's going to mess up her hair. Wait, no water though? Oh. Sensory dump. Usually there's water in there, right? <laughs> Who that? Is that your sister? Wait, what are you doing? Oh. Oh, Dick's gonna. Fuck. Wow. No cameras? Nothing? Uh, okay. What the fuck? You call an Uber or something? What? Are we back at the house from... God, God, damn, God damn. Okay. Okay. HBO Max said thank you for that fashion choice. You have until midnight to fix this. Then it's a BOP matter. BOP. We'll track them down. Birds of prey? That would be crazy if it was. Birds of prey matter. Who still came here too? That's where he trained us. Wait. How much are you giving away? What does Scarecrow know? A mile away. That kid came to me broken, okay? All I did was rebuild him, and it was easy, too, after what you did to him in SF. When? We had the Titans business. When? What a twisted mind fuck. Damn, I, how I, many Twinkies does he have? You know, with one inmate, so. Is this Even if I wanted to. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Okay. Well, now that you're here, if you have any shred of mercy left in you, you'll put me out of my misery. You want me to kill you? Great, Being great. Being a prisoner on this backwater planet is a dishonor. I would rather <laughs> great die acting than... here. Maybe you should. I am your sister. Ooh. <laughs> you hurt people. Okay. This black on black Tamaranian crime, man. I feel like I'm missing some context or just the the script that's kind of whatever i was out here all alone once the fuck this is so awkward Who's him just the forest by myself talking the to scarecrow like this 
Hey, Snow! You're just a boy, and those were the lessons that he taught you. Holy shit! Wolf killer. Call me Night Wolf. I shouldn't have been afraid of the wolf. The wolf should have been afraid of me. <laughs> okay. Get out of my way. Or I'm gonna burn your dick off. <laughs> Some classic. That's Academy Award winning writing. HBO Max writing. Jesus. This episode, I don't know. Wow, I can't believe this episode's almost over already. That's kind of cool. Whoa, oh, shit. Classic moves. You're even fighting like that, huh? <laughs> I kind of like the way he fights, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was kind of cool, though. Gordon. Take it. Cleared. Shit. Nope. Damn. All right. Uh, whew, whew. Good news. What, which one do you want? The good news or the bad news? Here, let me just give you the bad news. That writing was atrocious for mo for most of that ep most of those that episode. That writing was atrocious. Like it was, it was hard to sit through a lot of that. Um, for all the buildup they had with those first three episodes, that was fairly disappointing um, for everything that we just uh, witnessed in 40 minutes. So it was, it was uh, some of it was really amateur. And I'm not trying to be that hard on it, but man, that was a that was a lot of buildup in those first three episodes for something really good. And suddenly, boom, I don't know what happened with this episode. It just, it hit like a thing. Uh, the, the good news is, um, the good news is, even out of that, there were some, there were some, there were some moments that I liked. There were some moments, I mean, and it really just came down to Red Hood versus Nightwing for a second. That was kind of cool. The, the, that, the stunt work on there was really good. And honestly... Man, I'm not even gonna lie. Like Blackfire and Starfire was all right, but again, like I said, you could tell like the the writing was pretty weak on a lot of that. So I don't even know if there's much I can really put into the actual reaction itself. But uh, you know that last moment, I think it all could have it felt in some sense filler. I know it wasn't filler, but it looks like they were really trying to pad that episode a lot. I. Which is interesting because it's funny because the uh, previous episodes we felt like they were burning through some of the best storylines, right? And burning through like all in a, like everything of Jason dying and coming back within a, like a day, like two days or something like that, right? Two or three days. So very odd how that all went. With this one, it was like, okay, let's stretch this out as much as possible. Uh, uh, Man, I just hope the next episode is going to be... Oh, it again, I, I did feel it was weird that, like, maybe I missed something in the first three episodes, but I guess uh, Jason reached out to... Jason had reached out to Scarecrow? A crane for a while? I, possibly? I don't remember that. I, I don't remember that being, like, a huge thing at all. Like... Yeah, I'm looking right now. I don't I don't remember anything like that being like they some at some at some point Jason just kind of reached out to Crane I, I guess for consulting uh, like on cases or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I felt like there was some sort of some sort of context being mixed missed, but you know Crane knew, knew, knows everything. That's the why and that's the wildest thing is the fact that it wasn't even a big shock to Dick at that moment in time. Like, it seemed like everything was totally out in the open. Um, you know, and some people mentioned this even about the first three episodes that everybody just seems so out of character. Jason seems out of character. Dick seems out of character. Like, you know, Dick snatching up Crane like that at Arkham. Obviously, everybody was going to see him doing that. 
it's just I don't know. Oof. Yeah, I, I hope I hope they I hope this isn't a preview of what's gonna be in store for the rest of the season. Like some some, some kind of like plot holes and character pop, uh, devices that seem so out of place. But um, you know, I'm I'm hoping for the best, and we'll just leave it at that, that. Red Dread Nation, stand up, speak up. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> Edgy shit.